Back again, appreciate your content. Not sure where you went. Uh, I share it. That's fantastic. Sharing is the one way in which we can bring about a revolution. Sharing is the one way we can get into people's heads. Thank you for your work. That being said, it feels as if it is a losing battle fighting this anti-rationalism statism. It is clear freedom produces better results, but these people continue to win. They do continue to win. And it's going to be a losing battle for a long time. But you have to reconceive the context of the battle. The battle is not and cannot be and should not about changing the world and bringing freedom to the world. That, one day, we'll get there. The battle is one mind at a time. It's about changing one mind at a time. And if you have that perspective, if you have a perspective that when you bring objectivism into a person's life, you've made their life better, that when you bring objectivism into a person's life, you've made them now an ally, you've made them now a fighter for your ideas. If you have that perspective, then what we're trying to do becomes more real. What we're trying to do becomes more accessible. What we're trying to do becomes more achievable. I mean, I think, on Lex Friedman's show, my interview with him, I converted, or, or not converted, no, I inspired a lot of people, I don't know how many, hundreds maybe, to check out objectivism. Some of them will be inspired, will change their life, will become allies of ours. Some of them will but every day, if we can get a few minds, if every one of us sets a goal to change one mind, one mind at a time, one mind a week, one mind a month, one mind a day, I don't know, whatever, whatever scale you can do it, that changes the world. That will change the world. If you start out by trying to influence politics, if you start out by measuring our influence in terms of politics, then it's hopeless. It's hopeless. When I think that, th I don't know how many people voted in the last election. Uh, I think it's 140 million people, let's say. 140 million people. 140 million people. I'm inspired by the fact that 100,000 listened to my interview with Lex Friedman. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I've got 23,000 followers. We're talking about 140 million people. If I think about 140 million people, if I think about the need to change the minds of 140 million people, I can't do anything. I'm, I'm, it shuts me down. But if I understand that to change a culture means to change the minds of a few people, and those people will change the minds of a few more, and that some of the people whose minds I change or you change or Ayn Rand ultimately, ultimately changes, some of them will go into education and influence the curriculum of the future. Some of them will go into science and use Ayn Rand's epistemology to discover new things in science. Some of them will go into art and create new romantic art. And the cumulative effect of all those people doing all those things will be what? Will be to change the culture. And the cumulative impact of changing the culture will be what? A change in the political world that we have. But if you start with the political, if you start with 145 million, it's over. It shuts you down. It's impossible to do. You've got to start with one mind at a time. And you've got to start with one mind at a time thoroughly changed. And you've got to start with go out there and do your thing. Influence the world in your way. Influence the world in... Those areas of life that you're engaged in. And particularly if you're in education, particularly if you're in the science, and particularly if you're in art, those are the areas where the world will be changed. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in 
to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes, that should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. Uh, and uh, and show your support for all for, for for the work for the value hopefully you're receiving from this, and uh, and of course don't forget if you're not a subscriber even if you even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up you'll know what shows are on when they're on you'll get notified right so um, yes like. Share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.